Hello, here I am with a tale of middle class hilarity and embarrassment. Um, I'm probably looking a bit shattered because uh, I've been working a long time and I need to go to sleep. Um, yeah, I have terrible trouble. No, I don't. I have m a moderate trouble with um, anxiety issues, mostly associated with talking to people. Uh, mostly people I don't know, sometimes people I do know. It depends upon my mood. Um, anyway, I also kind of think that if you see someone in trouble, you should probably help them out, because that's a good human thing to do. Uh, these two things together cause hilarious conflicts in my head, which is there right now. Um, so the other day, walking to work, um, walking past the petrol station that is around the corner from my house, uh, I spotted a chap who was trying to cross the road. Fair enough, it's seven in the morning. What you do. Um, also making a pretty good job of it, he was basically stepping straight into traffic and staggering around a bit and not getting very far and causing people in cars to get angry and beat their horns at him and swerve around him, as people in cars tend to do when a strange looking man steps out in front of them. Uh, as I got a bit closer it became patently obvious he was off his tits in some form um, and I could smell that from a fair distance. Um, so my head had a moment of massive stress as I tried to work out the best thing to do, would it be to run away? He bloke was so off his tits he wasn't aware I was there, I don't think he was aware anyone was there. I was aware of someone punched him in the face at that point. Um, anyway, I decided the best thing to do would be to not be a prick and to try and do something about it. So I went over and um, very awkwardly tried to steer him out of the road which seemed like a sensible course of action. It was at this point I realised that to any onlookers what probably looked like was uh, two tramps having a fight in a road rather than one man on his way to work trying to steer a, a poor soul out of a road. Um, anyway, he was in a state he couldn't speak. He clearly couldn't particularly see. I have not got a clue how he was standing up in any form frankly. Um, his trousers were halfway down his legs where he clearly tried to have a piss at some point. Uh, most of it had gone on his trousers. Um, in a moment of hilarious good fortune I managed to steer him out of the road. I didn't try talking to him which would have been a sensible thing to do, you know, try and comfort the poor fucker, clearly in state, but that was a bit too far for this head to deal with. So I steered him out of the road and at the same moment of comedy fortune uh, managed to place him between a bin, a sign and uh, some piece of petrol station machinery, presumably an air filling thing. Um, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, he was in enough of a state that he couldn't actually get out from between these three things, even though there was a good clear metre clearance between each one, he just kept bouncing from one to the other and eventually gave up and tried to have a cigarette, which, which didn't, again, how a man can be in a state that he can't speak or see, but can still stand up and have a cigarette. I don't know, but he kept putting one in his mouth, forgetting there was one there, dropping it and getting another one out, just on a loop. I don't think he had a lighter. Should have bought him a lighter. Uh, would have been easier than talking to him. And I, I still didn't speak to him, which would have been the kind, nice thing to do. Uh, what I did instead is I walked into the petrol station and asked if they'd help, and their reaction was, no, it's not our problem, he's outside not in here, which was kind and humane of them, I felt. Uh, they did decide the whole process was entertaining enough for a couple of them to come outside and watch what went on, they just refused to help or be involved in any way. Anyway, um, I phoned the police on their non-emergency number, for he was contained and seemed relatively not dead, um, and they agreed to send someone over. I had a moment of Oh, hilarious middle class awkwardness when the um, dispatch officer, is that what they're called? I don't know. That's what they're called now. Um, asked me to describe the man uh, using a series of questions. Uh, one of the questions was, what colour is he? Now, because I'm very middle class, this caused me to have a mild moment of massive social anxiety, so I don't know how to describe that. Um, at which point the two Asian guys from the petrol station pointed and laughed at me quite a lot, which broke the tension somewhat. 
Um, but then she just gave me a multiple choice option, which made it nice and easy. He was Asian, by the way. Um, see, even now, middle class awkwardness kicking in. Have I said the wrong thing? I don't care. I do care. Oh God, my head. What's going on? Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, so police dispatch officer agreed to send a, a, a car over to um, sort him out in her words oh yeah we know him it's fine didn't look that fine you know the guy tried to step in front of traffic not tried to step in front of traffic tried to cross a road and in the process had stepped in front of traffic but you know so uh, they sent they sent they didn't just send one car they sent two cars that decided to come around the corner very fast with their sirens and lights going um, I, I did question as to why they needed the sirens and lights but apparently it was classified as an emergency yeah you decide um, anyway there was the end to it my moment of middle class awkwardness uh, which which gave me enough confidence a, a few days later to help a small child cross a road so where will it end who knows goodbye Go away.